how's it going everyone i want to give a little more info on z stem plum which is an inner stem that's used to graft cherry onto plum rootstock or vice versa although i don't see why anybody would want to do vice versa since plum is a more versatile rootstock and you would want to use plum more than cherry roots since you can only plant cherries in your best locations where the soil is really good. So with Z stem or Adara plum, the two stems that can be used to join plum with cherry since cherry is not normally compatible with plum. Uh, there's a couple varieties that probably will not be compatible with the Z stem. Right here, I'm showing you a tree that I grafted Rainier Cherry to. This is Rainier and this is Z-Stem. So notice the, the Z-Stem plum has not died, but the graft has aborted. I can show you the graft. There's the graft. So. It did take the first year. It did grow, I think one or two seasons. I think there's two seasons of growth here. And then it died. It actually died last year. It was dead all year, last year, or all summer, last summer. Oh, there we go. So I just, I just broke it off at the graft and noticed the union was not very good. I've also confirmed this. I ran across more info on a forum and somebody um, from another country has also confirmed that uh, Z-Stem is not compatible with some of the bicolored cherries. So I do know for a fact that Rainier is not compatible with Z-Stem. Here's a stark gold cherry grafted to Z-Stem. There's the graft union right there. Cherry to Z stem and Z stem to plum right there. There's the graft union. So the Z stem and the plum union looks very smooth. Some type of Japanese plum roots, I didn't know what kind they were, but they weren't American or European plum and the cherry to z stem union actually seems to be okay we'll see once this progresses more but it seems to be pretty promising there's another cherry to z stem black gold cherry to z stem right here but i do know now that rainier won't graft to it there's also a dara plum that you can use, which looks very similar. This is a dara plum. Notice leaf patterns are very similar. However, the growth pattern is slightly different. Um, by slightly, I mean the, the branches seem to grow a little straighter. This is a dara. I do want to graft Rainier to this one and see how the compatibility differs between Adara and Z-Stem. Because Z-Stem, if you kind of look at it, it does have a tendency to kind of grow these wavy branches that kind of lean off to the side and you kind of want to stake them in order to have a nice stem to graft to next year i will be grafting these this year the leaves look very similar they're of the same species but they're not the same stem just so you know z stem was developed in california by floyd zager and adara plum was developed in spain so uh, same species most likely different cultivars so this is this is the growth habit of Z stem. It kind of 
kind of, it, the branches are kind of wavy a little bit. Versus Adara, a little straighter. And if I pro, if I uh, trained this branch and not had all these other ones, then I probably would have had like a straighter stem. The other, the other thing with um, grafting cherry to plum root stock is the shorter your stem is the closer the incompatibility is with the cherry to the plum and so it dwarfs the tree more so if your stem is really short it tends to dwarf it more which is what I've heard um, I think Tom Spellman mentioned that but uh, don't quote me on that I, th I think I remember correctly so we'll see um, I'm probably gonna do like at least 12 inches anyway since um, there's already like an, an incompatibility issue so I want to really increase the chance of the cherry to thrive so give it like 12 to 18 inches of stem before I graft the cherry so thank you guys for watching and if you like my content please remember to like and subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys next time